Jimmy K here, Metal Voice. Look at this. The Metal Voice shirts are now on sale. Just go to the video description to find out on how you can purchase one. Metal! Welcome to the Metal Voice. Today on the show, the one, the only, Mr. Michael Shanker. What's going on, sir? Oh, a lot. You know, <laughs> first of all, I would like to, you probably already know, that our dear friend and great drummer Ted McKenna had passed away on the 19th of January this yes. year. And so, you know, in the middle of recording and uh, having to get ready for the tour, etc., uh, etc., et I mean, it was an unbelievable shock for us, you know, but it just shows you, you never know what's going to happen next, you know. It's, it's just unbelievable. Yeah. But, you know, I'm sure he's watching, he wants us to carry on rocking and... Uh, so we um, have, uh, I went to his funeral on the 19th of, of, of February, so so um, thanks Pat for everything, keep on rocking, see you in heaven. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so now we have uh, Simon Phillips has just, uh, you know, uh, helped us with the, uh, he, he recorded 10 songs of our new album and Bodo Shop. Uh, um, ex Mikhail Schenker is joining as a permanent drummer now. Um, we might even end up uh, playing with two drummers in the future okay. at some at, at some places maybe. Um, but uh, we managed to, you know, we had two months to 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 really um, basically work our butts off, and uh, you know, Simon did a fantastic job on the new album. Which will be released on the 23rd of August, and uh, the and Bodo did also play on the album and did also a fantastic job. But they worked out a way how we could move forward in the smoothest possible way uh, with such an interruption. And uh, so Bodo did three songs on the album and uh, decided to be the uh, live drummer and uh, Simon Phillips based on availability, he, he, you know, and because he is the first drummer of, of uh, MSG, Michael Schenker Group, and yeah. uh, so, and he is obviously the a, a great well-known drummer from Toto and Jeff Beck and, and, and so on. And so, um, we were able to simultaneously, uh, you know, um, catch up with everything. And so we are ready to rock. We have done a lot of hard work to get this live show together, which is a big show, which is, a, you know, it's actually still the Resurrection Tour. It's the second leg of our Resurrection Tour. The first one was last year, but because of its success, and we didn't cover all cities in the States, we added a, a second leg to it. Uh, some of the cities may be the same, but um, with, with some special... Like, for instance, Los Angeles, we played the uh, Whiskey A Go Go, which is basically the place where I started when I was 18 years old, you know, and yeah. when I first came over. And it's just full cycle, you know, coming back with all the original singers. And uh, it's just fantastic, you know, that, 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 that all of this can happen like that, you know. Um, is, is the new album done? But, uh, is the new album finished? That? Is the new album finished? Yeah, the, the, I actually have just um, the the master has Michael Foss is doing the master right now. He has sent me a retransfer to approve the master, and uh, basically, if I approve the master today, and if I don't make any corrections, it's done. But what's the musical direction on this album versus the last album? Oh, it's fantastic. You know, Graham Bonnet uh, immediately, like after the second album, after the first album, he said. Oh, this time I want to write my own lyrics and my own vocals to Michael's music. And he did a fantastic job. Such a, in, in, incredible, you know. And, is, uh, is Graham behaving and, uh, himself now? Is he behaving himself? I am since fantastic. The... Okay. We are fantastic. And then he wrote his own melodies and lyrics. And I'm so impressed with okay, uh, how it came out, what he did. It's, 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 it's really unbelievable. Any new guests on the new album? Yep. We... I'm not sure how much I can tell, you know. Uh, tell the us album what you is coming can. out on the 23rd of August. <laughs> um, we had some really, really surprise thing coming up. There was a, like a first, we call them old songs. Old songs means where everybody 
um, where everybody participates on one song, you know, and we were just about to do the the fourth old song when Michael Foss had this idea about uh, um, um, uh, Ronnie Romeo, who he worked with before, who who was singing for Richard Blackmore, um, you know, to have him as a as a guest and. Uh, Fantastic! It, it turned out incredible. It's called "We Are the Voice," and uh, he is from Brazil. But he's an co- incredible voice, and the song is uh, so suitable for him. And um, yeah, we have to, uh, another. But you know, because of that interruption, that uh, you know, that that shock we all had to deal with of Ted passing, um, I said, like, you know what? Just c- scrap all the the guest stuff, you know, it beca- it's too difficult, you know, while you're in the middle, um, it, it takes a lot of attention to, to put guests on the album and to decide who and, and et cetera, et cetera, and have them, you know, get something ready for, for, for it, it, it's, we, we approach some people, but then, you know, that happened with Ted and, and, and we realized, you know, making the, the tour happen and the album happen and, you know, we're going to start shooting already two videos in Los Angeles when we arrive there in April, early April. So that uh, I, I said to Mike, you know, what? I'll just forget about guests, you know. But he said, like, yeah, but I have got, you know, uh, uh, Ronnie Romeo, um, who I worked with, and he would love to be, you know. And I said, of course, if, if it is that simple to do, then let's do that. And so we ended up with that. We we had a, a bonus um, I, I wanted to put a, a Japanese a guitarist uh, on, on, on our Japanese version. They always have a, 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 a you know, like a bonus, bonus yeah. uh, thing. And, uh, you know, so I, I chose the guitarist from Loudness. So, so he's, he's kind oh, of jamming yes. one part in the, in, in the song, which I, I think is fantastic for Japan. You know, Japan, like uh, that feeling that, you know, yeah, is a, a Japanese guitarist with Michael Schenker. You know, I thought it was a great idea, and and so I think everybody loved the idea, and and uh, I think they're going to be very surprised and uh, happy about it. And so that's it. But other other than that, we had our hands full, believe me. Oh, but we managed. You know, we managed very well. And what about the tour? Are you going to be playing any new songs on the tour? That's starting in. No, 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 no. Like I said, we are doing Resurrection Second Leg. Uh, the tour, you know, the tour starts um, the 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 fifteenth uh, promotion for for and uh, uh, the, the the you know the next part uh, for the next album starts uh, even though we're doing some uh, promotion already while we are in Los Angeles getting to get, get getting the album cover together and and doing you know. Getting everything prepared while we're in Los Angeles, um, so that the uh, a nuclear blast has enough time to to put all the marketing together and structures and 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 get everything ready. You know, the the more time you have, the better you can prepare everything. And and so, you know, it will be released on the 23rd of, of August. So we have lots of time. But in the meantime, we were going to places where people haven't seen us um, for the uh, Resurrection Tour. We have changed songs around, so even for people who have seen the show that come to Los Angeles, they will see some new stuff. And uh, so basically, but but nothing of the new album yet. Okay. You know, and I'm going to ask you something about um, Herman Rarebell. Um, you know, and I don't want to get too much into you and your brother because we spoke about you and your brother last time. And you told me all about, you know, what you thought about your brother Rudolph. But I know that Herman was trying to get you guys together. And the thing that came to my mind was, what would it take for you? What would it take for you, for you and your brother to finally make peace? What would it take on your side? No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with peace. It has nothing to do with peace. Rudolph is dangerous. I have to stay away from him. Because, you know, it, it's the only thing I can do. He, he's a bully, and he takes advantage of his little brother. The only thing I can do, Rudolf has taken everything that I had uh, developed, you know, my black and white guitar. No, I, I um, know, I know. Different, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And so the only thing that you can do, um, what do you do if you have a bully on your back? You know, you, all, all you have to do, the best you can do is stay away. 
you know, I, I have no big, bad feelings or anything, you know, Rudolf is Rudolf, God bless him, do what you do, but I don't need to put myself into a vulnerable situation, and that's what I would do if I would contact, connect with him, you know, but, but if there would was... just be the more of the same bullshit, more of the same rip-off, and more of the same, you know, he is a charming person, he, he achieves everything with charm, I'm an artist, you know, so whatever I have, I'm a very fruitful uh, from within person, you know, mm -hmm. whatever I do is, is fruitful, Rudolf, to you, it's for his own benefit, so the best is to leave him alone, and let him live his life, and, uh, and, and I am better off. Not even, you know, just a couple of words with him would be would already be enough. <laughs> okay, okay. I thought maybe there's maybe you had like a, a list of stuff you'd like him to uh, agree to, and then you can make no, peace. nothing to agree. Okay. Rudolf is dangerous for me. He's okay. taking advantage of his little brother, and he has always done that. And so the best is to stay away and 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 bless him and and give him more power, whatever he is doing. You know, I am not poised myself with uh, um, being angry about him or anything like this. It's just he has to clean his side of the street, and it's up to him when he recognizes that. And I, I, I have my side of the street to take care of, and uh, I'm not here. You know, Rudolf and I only lived, uh, you know, been only together for two years in, in the lonesome core period. So we have no problem living our own lives anyway. And, and uh, the, you know, the, the, the most important thing for me is to stay away from him if I want to have peace and continue with my focus without interruption from people who keep digging holes in front of you. Okay, well, let's talk about something way more positive. Rudolph, uh, sorry, <laughs> Michael Schenker Fest and the, the new album coming out in August. The tour is starting in April at the Whiskey A Go Go. We're anxiously awaiting for a new album. We're anxiously awaiting for your tour. Very excited for you, Michael. Well, I tell you, you know, I mean, even though we had to deal with that shock of passing, of dear friends passing, uh, you know, I mean, but life, you know, goes on, and I'm sure that Ted is fully behind us, and he's going to be watching, and the album cover is something else, you know. Look forward to the album cover. Okay. <laughs> it's fantastic. And, and, and any last words on uh, Graham Bonnet? I know in the assault attack days, he exposed himself. Is he behaving today on stage? Is he doing any crazy things? <laughs> Graham Bonnet is fantastic. He's happy, and, <laughs> um, you know, it's it's for him basically kind of similar like it is for me you know the best the best for last okay good good i'm happy to hear michael thank you for being on the show today i appreciate it so much <laughs> thank you very much bye bye